following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Darwin Finch, Gentleman Jervis. More action here at Halston Bodies Coastline Clash. Robin Shaw issued the challenge, but the question is from the looks of things, is Gentleman Jervis up to the challenge. I mean, you asked that when, when Shaw laid it down and it doesn't look like that. And he just waved off. Darwin Finch says he wants to go it alone. Not a, not a smart move in Port Jervis. I mean, it was heartbreaking to see just what sweet Robin Shaw has done to the Friendship Farm, and in particular, Gentleman Jervis. Absolutely squashed him with that big seated splash off the apron. I mean, we didn't know if we'd ever see Gentleman Jervis back. There's definitely a lot of residual damage on Jervis right now. You can tell by the way that he's holding his ribs. He is already in pain and hurt, getting into the ring before the match has even started. Seems nearly devoid of razzmatazz. And introducing his opponent from Agua Dulce, California, weighing in 350 pounds, Sweet. Robin Shaw! Robin Shaw looks, almost nods as if he's impressed that Jervis even showed up here. And uh, Robin Shaw seems to look back at his time, gentlemen, in the friendship farm with nothing but total disdain. Total disdain, and I, I think Robin Shaw looks, looks proud of himself, his handiwork, seeing Jervis still holding his midsection. But maybe he is a little bit surprised that Jervis would even meet his challenge you know you got to keep in mind one of the worst beatings i've ever seen robin shaw was at the take was at the hands of chris dickinson in primetime live and that had to do with the gimmicks in the friendship farm so maybe that's where some of his resentment for the friendship farm and gimmicky things have come from maybe so but still you know his time in the friendship wait wait farm wait, wait wait hold on a second jervis i'm sorry man I know that you feel like you need to face Robin, and I respect that, but I, I feel like I'd be doing you a disrespect if I let you come in here at not even 50%, let's be honest. And you know he's just going to take advantage of that. Because, Robin, you have no respect. This man, this great man right here, he took guys like you and me, and he brought us to championship wrestling. And the minute that you couldn't share the spotlight for two seconds, you showed your true colors. So you know what? You, you want to hurt this man so much, you really want Jervis, then you're going to have to go through me to do it. Wow. Punk Rock Poindexter, Darwin Finch, putting himself in between Gentleman Jervis and this raging bull in Sweet Robin Shaw. Shaw showing no hesitation in, a, in agreeing with that, too. I'm not afraid of you! Okay. You should be. Okay, okay. You don't, you don't. Be careful. Hey, Boy, where, that was a, a whole different sound to Gentleman Jervis. Where did he, where did he summon that from? I, I don't know if, if that's the aftermath of what Robin Shaw did to him or if it's, it's the rage and the heartbreak that Robin Shaw has caused. It's definitely the most bass that I've ever heard in Jervis's voice. We're bringing... Bringing some anger out of the happiest man I think I've ever seen. Yeah, the world's sweetest man has got uh, some of the world's most injured ribs right now, though. Just bone rattling body shots here by the big man and doubling over in pain in the early going was Jervis, but using his speed and agility comes up with the drop kick, but that was a sacrifice play. Just hitting the mat after throwing the drop kick, you know, residual damage. Oh my gosh, he's gonna, do and even Finch said, he's not even at 50%, he's gonna be at way less oh, than that. Get, get out of there, Jervis. A sitting duck for that big leg drop, and again, that splash off the apron just put Jervis on the shelf. You know, it's been an emotional uh, attack you know and, and a very physical attack by Robin Shaw. I have a lot of respect for Darwin Finch trying to step up and give his friend a hand. I would have liked to have maybe seen him get in early, but now we're gonna get to see what Darwin Finch is gonna bring to the table. Yeah, here's his chance. And uh, and, and saying, you know, it, it, it was Jervis and the association with the Friendship Farm, James, that gave guys like Finch and Robin Shaw a platform, put them on pay-per-view. 
on, on Primetime Live. Put them in tag team title opportunities in the United Wrestling Network. And as Finch said, is you know for one second, you couldn't stand the spotlight not being on you, Robin Shaw, and you turned your back, you showed your true colors. And you know I think Darwin Finch showing true friendship coming out here to the aid of Gentleman Jervis, but I don't think this is the smart play, trying to test strength with not so sweet Robin Shaw, Darwin Finch. Paying for it. Definitely not the smart play. We saw them tie up early. Robin Shaw just chucked Darwin Finch to the side. The second time we saw Darwin go behind him, I don't know why he would try and head on combat Robin Shaw, but we see him using some technique here to get the leverage in his favor. How uh, would you say he's using scientific wrestling? You uh -huh. could definitely say that. I mean, leverage and fulcrums and so forth, it is a little bit of physics. Well, physics is that big man Robin Shaw, but Darwin Finch looking to defy the odds. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, when it comes to Shaw, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and when he hits you, you'll go down. But right now, being very elusive is Darwin Finch, and he, he looks like he took the use of the arms away momentarily of the big man. Double teaming now by the Friendship Farm. And I think that that strike where he landed on the neck where maybe it took a little bit of ability for Robin Shaw to take it, use his arms, it goes into the anatomy. Whoa, big team strikes here by Darwin Finch and Jervis. Friendship Farm were lighting up Robin Shaw, but then the proverbial meeting of the minds of that the Friendship Farm. That train is off the track. The big man causing damage now. This match continues after this. Experience the best action in LA at the Commerce Casino and Hotel. Come discover why the Commerce is the most celebrated card room in the world. Commerce Casino. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. For a limited time, you can get a premium MyPillow for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, Call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free, and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Here's what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. WWE Hall of Famer Kevin Nash is coming to the Alcorn County Fair on Friday, September 17th for a night of EPW Wrestling. It all goes down at the Crossroads Arena in Corinth, Mississippi. Get more information at alcorncountyfair.com. September 26th is our return to the Wrestle Center. Don't miss our Halloween television spooktacular where you never know who or what might show up. Tickets are available now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. After the matches, meet us at Dave & Buster's for WWE Extreme Rules. It's free to watch, plus we'll give you a free power car. And go ahead, reserve your seat right now for October 17th. ECW Original and Impact Wrestling's Tommy Dreamer will be at the Wrestle Center, along with WWE's Boogeyman. Tickets are already selling fast for this one. You don't want to miss it. Stay up to date and informed and get your tickets now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Boo all you want, all I see 
Our dollar signs, the overcharger, can charge for expensive car repairs because your warranty expired and there's nothing you can do about it. And overcharging, your days are done. Woo! The Ninja Boys teamed up with CarShield, the Bill Lauren, mechanic of your choosing, auto avenger, and we're treating bullies like him to a buffet of, woo! CarShield cars go farther. Woo! Welcome back, everyone. A, a disturbing scene, though, just all that massive humanity down on the back and the injured ribs of Gentleman Jervis. It's a really tough spot having that much weight on you when you're completely collapsed to the mat. It's extremely hard to get off. Yeah, and just toying with Jervis during the break. Heard him say, is that all you got? Just, just taunting his former friend. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, and, you know, but the physical pain, really a big part of it as well. When you've got compromised ribs, Blake, Take us through, I mean, every single breath, and Jervis might not catch a breath here with this bear hug. As you mentioned, having ribs, it's the entire attachment for your torso, so if you breathe, you get slammed. Anything that you do, you're gonna be feeling pain, particularly when you have a giant Robin Shaw wrapped oh. around, whoa, we have a little bit. Going to the eyes here, we've never seen that from the world's sweetest man. And I wonder, is that desperation, or is that anger coming out of Jervis? Because he was in a bad spot, was that, was that doing what he needed to survive, or was that him losing it and doing what, what he emotionally brought yeah, out we of got, it? We're getting some, I agree, but we, I don't know, but we're getting some anger out of the scientist, the punk rock Poindexter as well. He's got the big man rocking and reeling. Oh, oh boy. he caught him. Oh, it's just this, if he can lock that arm in, this is a rotational submission on the body here. Absolutely neutralize that size advantage, but not the strength advantage of Robin Shaw. And down goes Finch. Robin Shaw has just slightly too big of an oh pin attempt. And again, so tough to kick out when you got the big man on top of you, and you can see the look of disdain on the face of Robin Shaw. Playtime is over, but a great submission attempt. But as we've talked about throughout this matchup, a lot of it is desperation. What can you do? How many times can you go back to the drawing board against this guy? I mean, it's two on one, Friendship Farm versus Robin Shaw here, and he's still, you know, able to control the majority of this matchup outside of those desperate tactics of the Friendship Farm. You know, I would have a hard time calling this a two on one. This is more like one and a half against one. Fair point. And well, that's a big one right there, too. It's almost one and a half against one and a half. Okay. And, but, and again, you got an injured gentleman, Jervis, as well, who's going to be hard pressed to even climb back up to the apron. And so it might be uh, one half on, on one and a half right now. But enough math. If he hits that sweet embrace, it's one, two, three. That's the only math you really have to be concerned with. And Darwin Finch, though, being very elusive. Drop kick takes him off his feet. Wow, Whoa. the big guy goes down. Could be a big time turning point in the favor of Finch and Jervis if they can capitalize. Big time velocity there and force when you're talking physics and took the big man down. Jervis wants back in. You know, a lot of the times when we see a guy who's completely dominating the beginning of a com competition get put on his back and the momentum start to sway, sometimes we see that guy start to mentally break. Sometimes we see him get more angry. I'm interested to see what kind of Robin Shaw gets up after that kick off the top rope. And the longer this matchup goes, the big guy's got to get oxygen in that giant body. Back elbows. Back elbows now by Jervis. Oh, big spear by Jervis. He rocked him, he took him down. If he could just capitalize and cover. Look at that aggression that we are getting out of gentleman Jervis. We've never really seen this side of him. A little sweet revenge, you might say. Yeah, I guess so. Jervis though, I mean, look, he's, he's having, you still see the effects. He's having to use those ropes to even move around there after that, maybe adrenaline burst, but really he's still trying to bring it to Shaw. He's got him hooked. Gentleman Jervis, Landed. oh, that's the Dustland DDT there by, by uh, Gentleman Jervis. He's digging way down into the playbook. And he planted Shaw's forehead directly on the mat. You can see Shaw's rolling around on the ground. He's on, he's on Wobble Street right now. But so's Jervis, Jervis is still down. How about he planted Shaw with the DDT and Shaw might beat him to his feet. Couldn't even get a cover there. Shaw is in trouble here, but now reaching for the referee. And, and gentlemen, Jervis has got to make a tag here. They have to capitalize. They have to take advantage while the big man is rocking and reeling and in jeopardy. Oh, else. that one had some mustard behind it from Finch. Mass times acceleration. Whole lot of force there by Finch. 
They're giving Robin Shaw some very valuable recovery time right now. Oh, Finch knocked firmly off the apron. Oh, now he's taking it again to Gentleman Jervis. I think the official Allison Lee is maintaining that Gentleman Jervis is still the legal uh, man in this matchup. And, and now look at this, a hug that was once out of love is now out of total disrespect and devastation and Jervis goes completely limp. Jervis looks lifeless in there. And what is, what is Robin Shaw doing? Oh God, we've seen him use this vice grip before. He just about squeezed the flesh out of Piranha and Rana. Oh, he'll, he'll absolutely concave your cranium with this. Oh my goodness, both palms are on the temples here, Blake. Wow, you, I, his eyes gotta be popping out under there. He looks like he's unconscious, he's in a bad spot. The official's trying to stop oh. this. Here is your winner, Sweet Robin Shaw. I've got to give, I've got to give, uh, gentlemen Jervis, so much credit for even getting in the uh, in the ring. Let's take a look at the action, brought to you by Car Shield. Taking the big man off his feet with the big spear was gentleman Jervis, but in the end, Robin Shaw just too much, and that just that vice grip. So devastating. The vice grip absolutely put the lights out of Gentleman Jervis. And just the saddest story in wrestling continues. What has happened to the Friendship Farm? And what is going through the mind of Robin Shaw? Man, Jervis is down. Jervis is really seriously injured. He got in here in bad shape. And thank God that uh, Darwin Finch was able to step in and at least give a hand because this could have been a really, really bad beatdown. Jervis might have broken ribs, but I think more importantly, he really, truly has a broken heart.